what is the most versatile lure you can have in your tackle box? It's a soft plastic grub. Hey guys, it's John again from fishyacker.com. Let's talk a little about soft plastics and specifically the soft plastic grub. This is probably the most versatile lure that you can keep in your tackle box. You know, you see these things pretty much everywhere you go in every type of tackle shop from the smallest panfish to the largest game fish, you can find a grub that's probably going to work really well. The cool thing is about grubs, you can fish them just about any way you want to. Some of the most common ways are simply putting them on a jig head and jigging them on the bottom. You can also crank them in, you can jerk bait them, you can, you know, you know, burn them through shallows, you can throw them around structure, you can hook them with a jig head weedlessly, you can of course, you know, use them as a trailer on a spinner bait, or if you have a spinner bait, we did a video not too long back, where if you have a spinner bait and the skirt gets all screwed all up on you and you chuck the skirt and it gets ruined, so we take the skirt off and replace it with a soft plastic grub. This is probably the most versatile lure you can have. Think about it, what is it, you know, what does it mimic? If you're in a uh, freshwater, it's very, you know, similar to a crawfish pattern or even a minnow pattern. You can get them in just about any color you want, you know. For instance, this one here is a darker color if I use for, uh, you know, crayfish. It's a power team version here. Or you can even get them out like this that glow in the dark. If you're fishing at night, put them under your headlamp for a little bit, chuck them in the water. This is one of my go-to lures at night for stripers. You can catch largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, smaller versions of your, your grubs for bluegill, crappie, you name it on up to big stripers. You know, you can start out with smaller size grubs for panfish. You can get even larger, huge ones for trolling. You can go for stripers with them. You can even... Heck, you could put these on a on a weightless hook and go, you know, drop shot them. You can do just about anything you want to do with a grub. You can even put them on as trailers for crankbaits. The sky's the limit. But if you haven't played around a lot with grubs, and we know back in the day, say 20, 30 years ago, this was one of their, you know, your main options there for, you know, smaller soft plastic, especially for panfish. But they're often overlooked now. I, I love using lures that are, are kind of overlooked. You know, I love to use crawfish patterns for bass, but I always keep a bunch of different sizes and different colors of grubs in my tackle box. Like I said, Use them on a spinner bait as a trailer. Use them to replace a, a, a torn up skirt on a spinner bait. Simply stick them on a on a jig head. A lot of times on smaller ones, and when the bite's a little bit down, I would simply downsize and put a grub on and start jigging on the bottom. Like I said, burn it around structure, burn it around shallows, you name it. But if you aren't keeping at least a few grubs in your tackle box or with your soft plastic, you really need to go out and get a whole bunch of them. You know, a couple different sizes, different colors. Look at what type of prey these fish that you're, you're targeting or are keying on and get something that will model off or mimic off of that. Like I said, you can use them to troll with or anything. You name it. But a grub is really probably the most versatile lure that you can keep in your tackle box. So if you don't have any, you need to go ahead and get them. If you stopped using them years ago because, say, you you know you changed a lot of your your tackle over to say craws and you know swim bait stuff like that, you still probably should have some of these in there because when everything else doesn't work, and a lot of times a grub will work. I've known guys over the years that will carry nothing in their tackle box except a bunch of grubs and a bunch of jig heads. Because like I said, you can jig them on the bottom, you can burn them, you can do whatever you want to do with them. You can count them down and work them at different depth levels, you name it. But they really come in handy. So. If you stop using them over the years or you never use them at all, go out and pick yourself up some soft plastic grubs for fishing. Thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and we'll catch you on the water. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.